Well, we're getting to the end of January. It's about roughly minus 20 this morning. It's not super bad in the sun, but uh, we're in a cold spell. You can see even the geese aren't a big fan. But it's time to do a little bit of, uh, I guess, winter chicken maintenance here. So uh, we're going to get going. Well, I'm outside one of our chicken coops and uh, we've already kind of gone and, and uh, done a few of them but we thought we might as well show what we're doing. Uh, it's kind of midwinter, like I said, it's like minus 20. Things are quite frozen. So even though we do use a bit of a deep, me deep bedding method, we find often by this time it's a bit on the frozen side. So what we're doing is kind of topping things up and uh, I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, in an attempt to, to try to help uh, control sort of uh, basically leg mites a little bit because we certainly find that winter is by far the, the worst time for that. Well, you can tell that uh, it's not cleaning day, but uh, bedding addition day doesn't go over too well with the chickens. This, uh, this particular hen is not very happy with it. But we have started this coop and so what we've done is, as you can see, spread uh, basically wood ash from the fireplaces kind of everywhere here and we put that layer down first because that's the layer that uh, will help a little bit. Uh, I, I'm not going to say it's preventative, I'm not going to say it's a cure-all but it can definitely help reduce uh, leg mite parasites and that sort of thing. So we've kind of put that down everywhere and now we're going to go ahead and place some, uh, some wood shavings over top of this. It's nothing fancy. Anyways, this job's done. This coop has uh, had some bedding added to it. But it is one of those things. This time of year, with it being so cold, this is about all you can really do. You can't do a full clean out. Even the deep bedding method, unless you have really deep bedding, you may end up with uh, some frozen areas, etc. So add to it and uh, deal with it in the spring. Well, we've got our beddings, bedding in our coops, so that's done for today. Uh, we will continue to add to this, probably every week or two, just sort of depending as we need it. Both maybe a little bit of uh, ash if we have it, but uh, we have some dried leaves that we've also stored that uh, we may use because the chickens usually like to dig around in that. It gives them something to do. And of course the nice part with this is this whole mixture that goes into the bottom of the coops uh, in the spring we will basically clean out and uh, either put it, if we do it early enough, either put it directly into some gardens that we may plant later and sort of work it in or, or compost it. I mean the, the nice part of this is it will be partially at least composted. Uh, not right now, there's no action going on. But uh, come early spring when the temperatures rise, it'll, it'll start to go uh, quicker than you think and the chickens will start to dig around in it too, which, uh, which usually helps. So we do have some other uh, things that we need to do. So the next step is going to be uh, basically getting some dust bathing areas set up. We're to the point now that with the exception of a couple groups, access to, uh, to any sort of sand that's dry enough to dust bathe in is pretty much gone. 